Hey, what's going on there, YouTube? Q back with Q Talks, and I know it's been a minute. Yes, I'm hanging out in the car. I haven't had the time to do videos as, as much as I'd like to, but let's just go ahead and get in right into it today. So, starting off with the Hobo Tactical Fanny Pouch. I believe this is the first attempt at making one of these fanny pouches. This is by Hobo Tactical. If you haven't checked them out, I'll put the link in the description down below. May, they make very limited drops. I'm not too sure how many of these were out there on this drop, but I was able to snag one of them as they went real quick. So, just a quick dimensions on these. You have their 9 inches by 5 inch, 5.5 inches and go up to a 3.5 inch depth. And as you can see, they have uh, uh, tighteners, so if you're not using all the capacity, you can kind of pull this back, tighten it up, make it a lot slimmer. Um, this is made out of 500D Cordura in Ranger Green material. I have been using this for about a month now, maybe a little more, and I absolutely love it. Uh, as you can see, it has a 3-inch by 8-inch uh, Ranger uh hook and loop patch sorry had a brain fart but a hook, hook and loop pouch or area so you can put in some re's in this case i have it's all data crew except for the pouch crew and then it comes with this little hobo tactical sewed on a uh, logo so like i said i've been using it for about a month and a half now and it is awesome and i'll show you why right now only complaint i have is i wish the material would have been a little heavier duty as you can see when you have it loaded out the material kind of droops kind of droops down i wish it would have held it up a little tighter but yeah i mean that's probably the only complaint i have i'm going to give you guys a quick loadout of what i carry in here just so you can kind of see uh, what it is you can fit in here so right here you're going to have the first front pocket and in here i carry the uh the woven i believe this is a three yeah woven x3 carry that in my flashlight then I have the Anchor USB-C portable. I think this is just uh, 2,000 watts, if I'm not mistaken. It gets you from 0 to 62%, so not too bad if you just need a quick uh, quick charge. Then I have a Gondek EDC little uh, Poco pen. And then that is it for this front admin. And in here you're going to have... Let me show you. You're going to have... A pocket right here and then two and three little pen slots right here and then you can just throw this in here I want to have the charger for the Wubin X3 and then if you want to throw in a key ring you can throw that right there uh, so yeah this is the front po pocket white GK zips all around all black they color they already come with these little full taps or so that's pretty cool in here I have my creds my wallet which is the Speakeasy leather, got this bad boy right here. Then I have a little, this is Tough Possum, it's a little like a boo boo kit, I have some band-aids, a uh, chapstick, uh, uh, Lysol wipes, uh, and just stuff like that, matches, just little things like that, you know, in case, in case a little boo boo. Uh, and then, I'll show you guys the end right now, and then I have the Asa Hanks, Hank right here, microfiber with the uh, Ace Hank logo and topo green. And then this is the inside. As you can see, you have a spot right here. Next to a little padded right here. I really don't use this spot, to tell you the truth. I just put everything right here in the front. As you can see, good space in here. Uh, then you have an additional little zipper pocket in here. This is where I keep the Hank and, oh, I forgot, I got this little Spyderco knife. Just carry it in there just in case so yeah as you can see pretty cool little you got enough space like i said once you open it up pretty thick it's a thick boy but yeah but the reason i really enjoy this this bag is for this reason i shall show you right now bam if you ccw this is a cool little pouch i know there's fanny packs out there that probably do better but i do enjoy this one uh, so in here I have my, because of YouTube reasons, I will not take it out, but I have my my Springfield Hellcat in the Mandalorian slash Boba Fett colorway, and I have the Alien Gear Workshop holster that's actually hook and loop, 
So when you're not using it in here, I can rip it off here and put in another pack that pouch or bag that has hook and loop and hold it sturdy in place. I have it pretty much angled to where I need to. It's quick and easy to draw in and out. Uh, it does come with an adapter so you can use the actual thumb lock, tighten it up, but the way it came is just perfect for me. So if I do carry it sling style, even in case an emergency, I just drop it down because of the weight and I have full access to my CCW. So, uh, like I said, Hobo Tactical really did an outstanding job on this pack if it's being their first one. Uh, just a quick recap, 9 inches by 5.5 by 3.5 in depth, uh, 3.8 inch uh, hook and loop uh, panel, uh, 3 pockets, one for your CCW, a main compartment, then a front admin admin pocket. Uh, these are retractable in case you're not using the full, the full uh, pouch, you can bring it back so it won't be as tight. You got a little little uh, hobo uh, tagging right there and it's just a standard clip I wish the clip was also maybe a little sturdier I mean it is a plastic kit clip but I kind of wish these would just be a little sturdier it's very it feels like a very dense plastic but pretty adjustable very easy very easy to use I do enjoy this bag quite a bit so like i said he did the first run they were sold out fairly quickly i'm not too sure when they're going to be doing another drop on these but do keep a lookout on them uh if you get on their instagram or the website sign up for their uh, emails so you can know when the next drop is again the hobo tactical fanny pouch um guys again thank you all so much if you haven't already please like this video subscribe to the channel Hit that little notification bell so you know when I upload a video. And yeah, Hobo Tactical Fanny Pack, a little Data Crew RE's on there. But guys, thank you all so much for sticking around watching these videos. And I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Peace.